Well, hello my friend, my name is Attila and this is Masterpiece. So in this video, I am going to make a very cool looking box, show you my famous Evolution chisel set and also I am going to tell you how to enter for the giveaway for the very box that you have seen in the thumbnail. Sawdust everywhere! Mustard piece. So here is the thing guys, I have purchased some new wood turning books and in these books there are some very interesting techniques. So from this book I picked a technique that I find it interesting and challenging and basically for the first time ever I am going to try to apply this technique for this box. This technique was invented by a guy called Joe Winter and the box I am going to make is fairly similar to his work. I do a little bit of styling to it just to fit my own needs and at the end when I finish with it I am going to give away this piece for free and if you watch this video at some point I am going to tell you how to enter for this giveaway. So let's just go downstairs and let's see what I can do. So I check through the pile of wood that I own and literally that's the only piece of wood that I own that is large enough. So I need to cut this one up. This wood is wet, very wet, like several years drying wet. Here is a piece, it is considerably lighter. I don't know how, how dry is it, it's definitely more dry than it was before. So, so far I made one recess for one mounting point and that what you normally don't do I'm going to make an other recess with an other mounting point so you can turn it around anytime. So the next step, I am just round the edges and make it a donut shape.
one side is done now I can turn it around and do the other side. So far it's pretty good. So I'm going to mount it this way. Like this. This side going to be the bottom. And here with the more sported look. That's going to be the top. So I never actually done a hollow form before. And especially not something that is that tricky. Mostly because I buy all my wood online and I cannot really get anything large so I am going to practice hollow forming the first time ever on a very expensive material with a hollowing tool that I have never been able to figure out how to use so So let me explain what I am going to do. So basically we have a chuck here and we mounted our blank like this and we already created an opening here. So basically from the chisel we start to hollow from the inside in a way that we create the bottom of our ball. That's what we are going to do. So now I am going to use my very fancy and very scary hollowing tool. I couldn't really figure out how to use it last time today I am determined to figure it out and I am going to show you this piece of kit in a minute but first let's just do some work before I start to talk about how professional I am with this tool okay here we go I'm supposed to hold it in a 45 degree angle It is definitely working but it's not easy to use it. I still have to practice a lot with this. So it's looking good. So far there is nothing I messed up. Here I'm getting close to going through. But my hands are getting tired so let's take five minutes and I'm going to show you the kit. So I am using this tool a lot today and some of you asked in the comment section what is this tool because it's pretty strange so this one is a crown cryogenic revolution series chisel so basically the idea here is to assemble your tool to your own needs you buy a handle sold separately just a handle then you buy a shaft to it like this and it comes with many different profile of blade so you can swap the blades but if you buy two of the shafts just put the new shaft in literally in a second basically just tighten it it is ready to go 
can make a hollow tool out of it. If you have two of these, you can make it as long as you want because it comes with lots of attachment. And today, this is going to help me a lot. So this is literally paper thin now. So I'm about to go through. And from that point, we can actually see what we are doing. At this point, it is just so nerve-wracking. <sighs> I'm turning 50% air here, and if it catches my tool at any point, it's going to just shatter the whole thing. So I'm probably done. Oh, look at my face. So you have to be a subscriber that's a must unfortunately so so please subscribe to my channel like and share this video if you can and tell me in the comment section if you're entering for the giveaway because not everybody will and uh, please write a personal comment to me that can be supportive uh, funny whatever you think it is meaningful and basically I am going to pick one of the comments and give away this piece for free. And now I'm going to mount it from this side and hollow this side. So now the only thing I have to do is sending the inside and cut the walls and to be honest that's a really bad feeling let's do that
So here we go guys. I have finished the main body. So basically I added my own touch to it. So here I follow the curve. I do a lot of carving so this one is easy for me. The original piece doesn't have this. So now the piece at the back a little bit thinner. That's how I normally design. I like this balanced look and the shapes connect seamlessly. Too large, not too large. Okay, on the lid I am going to use clear locker, so hopefully the lid will be shiny and the body will be matte. So for the box just clear oil. Mustard piece.
I am going to announce the winner in the next video.